to focus on a bit of scripture today from Matthew 22 verses 15 through to 21. And in this passage we find the Pharisees coming to try and trap Jesus. So reading from verse 15. Then the Pharisees went and plotted how to entangle him in his words. And they sent their disciples to him, along with the Herodians, saying, Teacher, we know that you are true and teach the way of God truthfully, and you do not care about anyone's opinion, for you are not swayed by appearances. Tell us then, what do you think? Is it lawful to pay taxes to Caesar or not? But Jesus, aware of their malice, said, Why put me to the test, you hypocrites? Show me the coin for the tax. And they brought him a denarius. And Jesus said to them, Whose likeness and inscription is this? They said, Caesar's. Then he said to them, Therefore, render to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and to God the things that are God's. So when I observe that passage, a few things stand out to me. First of all, I observed how Jesus was able to discern the, the heart behind the question. He saw that the Pharisees weren't really interested in whether or not you should pay taxes. They were trying to catch Jesus out. You see, they'd made sure to, to go in a group together with Herodians. So the Pharisees, they were the religious elite. They were loyal to God. And the Herodians were the Roman citizens that were, were loyal to, to Herod. And if Jesus had answered the question to say that you should give your money just to God, then the Herodians would have been in an outroar. And if Jesus had answered to say that you should give your money to Herod and or to Caesar and not to God, well then the Pharisees would have been in an outroar. So it seemed to the Pharisees that they devised a lose-lose question for Jesus. But what we see is Jesus turns it back on the Pharisees and answers their question with a question. So the first thing that stands out to me is that often people will try and catch us out with questions and we have to be alert. You see, not everyone that asks us a question is asking because they're genuinely interested. Unfortunately, because of our faith, a lot of times people will ask us questions purely to try and catch us out. So we have to be mindful of that and be aware and make sure that we don't get caught up in, in arguments with people that aren't actually genuinely interested in what we think, but are just looking to, to get one over on us. But the second thing that stands out to me is after Jesus turns the question back on them and points out that the coin has Caesar's description and, and inscription on it, that then they should give to God the things that are God's and to Caesar the things that are Caesar's. There's, there's an obvious application for us there. Obviously, we have to pay our taxes. We have to give to the government the things that are the government's. We might not like it, but we have to do it. And certainly for me, whilst it's, it's not fun, it's relatively easy because it automatically comes out of my payslip. I don't have any control over it. The government gets what is the government's. Every month when my, my pay comes into the bank, the, the tax has already come off it. So I don't have to decide whether or not I'm going to give to Caesar what is Caesar's. Caesar takes. The challenge and the application for me is that we have to, to give to God the things that are God's. And obviously tithing is a part of that. But that's not all it is. See, God doesn't just want our money. He wants our heart. He wants our time. He wants our thoughts. He wants our devotion. And that's the real challenge for me. The application for me is to make sure that I am giving to God the things that are his, that I'm giving him my first thoughts, that I'm giving him my best, that I'm starting each day devoting myself to his ways, that I'm taking time to put him first in, in everything, not just in my money, but in all aspects of where I spend my time. And as we finish today with prayer, take some time today to, to think about the things that belong to God in your life and ask the Holy Spirit for, for help in giving to God the things that are his and giving him your time and giving him your energy and giving him your thoughts. Surrender to him in, in all things.